Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have your own reading Capricorn and we have several Oracle cards here. And we definitely have a story here because uh, <coughs> I feel like there's a fair amount of drama here. We have new beginnings though. Yeah, we do. And uh, we also have forgiveness. So, but the interesting thing here is... Uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure kind of like exactly uh, the details here yet. No, I'm not uh, Capricorn. We haven't, you know, we haven't been to the crime scene uh, yet. No, we haven't. But the rejection card is here. Consciousness and the outsider. You might have had to reject somebody because you felt like an outsider, right? We see the little boy looking in the gate and, you know, he's here like he can't go in. Maybe these people are, I don't know, rich and uh, they don't want them to play with their kids. I'm, I'm not sure what the story is, but the whole gate is chained is the whole point. And he feels like a little outsider. He does. And we have this card here. Somebody needs uh, refuge, right? Uh, somebody needs to rest. Maybe somebody is sick. Uh, it just says, re yeah, sickness could be needing to take time out. Rest and relaxation is needed, maybe from stress. And then we have the Ten of Swords. This is an ending uh, of a relationship. That's what it says here. It doesn't say, yeah. And so, you know, this is an ending here. You could have rejected somebody because you didn't get, have a new beginning with them. It's possible here. Maybe you are forgiving them, right? Uh, or it's just, you know, maybe you have your own new beginning with somebody else, right? Or maybe you are getting back together with them. It's possible. Uh, that's what I mean about the details are not clear, but there was an ending here and we do have like new beginnings over here. So with that, we're going to, uh, like, you know, do the tarot, right. To fill in the blanks. Right. Uh, and so we have these two magicians kind of, right. One looks like, you know, this kind of blondie guy that, you know, he's 25 and this other guy is like the older baldy guy who, you know, looks like he's, uh, I don't know, the Italian sorcerer or whatever he does, he looks like. But let's have a look at these uh, these two men here. Yeah. And uh, goals, dedication, and process. Mm -hmm. And so maybe you have a new beginning with your goals, right? He's like, and uh, he looks like he's casting a spell here, the way his hand is kind of, and the way he's looking up. And then, you know, he just looks like he's casting a spell. And let's see what they say here. When we are motivated by goals, they have deep meaning by dreams that need completion, by pure love that needs expressing. Then we truly live life. Yeah, you could have been really motivated by this person, Capricorn. Yeah, you could have, right? And I feel like that's true here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this can talk about, in this scene, an alchemist serves as an analogy for striving to achieve an end goal through study, experimentation, dedication, and perseverance. So maybe you have persevered, like you really kind of tried, right? Possibly. Uh, but let's see what else we have. Mm -hmm. This is about you maybe being really dedicated to somebody that something ended here. Uh, but this is the process as well. This card is a reminder to stay focused on the goal and to continually apply the required self-discipline. It will all be worth it in the end. You might be getting it back together with somebody here. You could, somebody you ended it with, right? Mm -hmm. His facial markings trace the beginning and end points of his quest from base lead through the, its various stages of purification of the soul to gold. Okay, so, okay. And it says, we can also seek out knowledge, opportunity, and challenge it is not necessarily to merely allow life to happen to us. You know, maybe you here wanted something to happen for you in this relationship. Uh, and you were kind of really like persevering and maybe trying to make it work. There's so, there could be somebody here who kind of just like lives by like the way the wind blows. Well, uh, if this happens in my life, then uh, maybe I'll go get that or... Maybe I'll be with Capricorn or just something like that, right? Uh, that could be, this could be somebody else's energy. In a larger metaphysical sense, our journey through life is said to be full of transformation from an imperfect, corruptible state towards a perfect, healthy, and everlasting state. Yeah, that's about people learning, right? Learning from, you know, from all their past mistakes and, and maturing. 
What does not kill us makes us stronger. Thus, painful or difficult changes that we endure can, in theory, burn, burnish us in a spiritual sense to a high golden shine. Yeah, we can also seek out knowledge. Mm-hmm. Okay. You could have kind of suffered with somebody here, Capricorn. It's possible here. Maybe you feel hurt. Mm-hmm. And you might feel here that this kind of ending here is kind of making you stronger. I feel like you do. Let's see what else we have with this uh, this other magician. Mm -hmm. The Swedish magician. That's what he kind of looks like here. Let's see what we have here. Mm -hmm. The pale blonde. Let's see what we got. And uh, we have misleading, illusion, and confusion. Yeah, so this is about kind of your goals and transforming and maybe learning and things like that. Uh, right. And, and sometimes, uh, just kind of setting your goals, but this card here is about somebody's being, uh, like a liar, misleading illusion and confusion. Yeah. Don't be misled by what you see around you or be influenced by what you see. You live in a world, which is a playground of illusion, full of false paths, false values, and false ideas, but you are not part of that world. I feel like you felt somebody misled you here, Capricorn. Yeah, we're here to rescue you, all right? We are. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you want to forgive them, possibly here. You might feel totally misled. Uh, somebody here could be maybe just kind of, they don't even make decisions, though. Like, kind of like the answer is blowing in the wind or something like that. Like, they just kind of go with the flow. Oh, well, like I said, oh, you know, I really want to be with Capricorn, but... I'm waiting for this to happen. It's a possibility here in this reading, right? So let's get into it here for Capricorn, please. Uh, but remember, Capricorn, we have new beginnings over here. Yeah, we do. Show me the energy for Capricorn here. I feel like you could have felt misled that you were going to have a new beginning with somebody too. You might have. Yeah, you might have felt misled. You could have felt misled by their kind of weakness or something like that. Like somebody who doesn't really make uh, possibly make decisions, uh, and just act on them. They just like, they live by default, right? Well, this is going really good for me over here. So I think I'm just going to stay over here or, or, you know, or maybe something else has to happen. Like they don't live like with purpose, right? Yeah. Like if you really want to be with somebody, you're like, well, I'm going to make it happen. And you might be with some, this could have been an ending with somebody who's in that kind of funkified energy. Yeah. I'm not sure here, but maybe, Let's see what we have. We're going to use this other deck here. Let's see what we have for Capricorn, please, for Capricorn. Let's get a few shuffles in here. Mm -hmm. But the consciousness card is here. It's like somebody, you know, somebody might not be, you know, like they, they could have like a low vibration or their level of consciousness is low. Like they don't understand about their intuition. Uh, they don't, uh, maybe they don't understand they're fighting, uh, fighting the current in life. Possibly. It's also possible that because this card talks about learning too, right? With the older magician, it does. It talks about learning, right? By the time you get through life, you might be thinking here that this person here is going to grow up, but you know, it might not be, or they're going to like, receive the light and know what to do here. It's possible, but they're going to do it later. Like not now. And you don't have time to sit around and wait. No, you might not. I mean, I don't, but you know, mm -hmm. so let's see what we have for you, Capricorn. Show me the energy for Capricorn, please. We have the, the emperor and the eight of cups. Okay. This talks about walking away here. It does taking action, having the power, power and authority. Let's see what else we have here for, for Capricorn. We have the Six of Pentacles, the Tower, the Sun card. Wow. And the Knight of Cups. This is coming soon. It could be because, <clears throat> yeah, I don't really want to go by the placements because they, they can be misleading. Yeah, like this uh, guy over here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have here. They can sometimes. Let's see what else we have. Uh see what your dynamic with somebody could be. Show me that energy, please. And we have the two of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are going back and forth all about this person here. Maybe, maybe that was them because somebody looks like they didn't have like, I don't know if it is courage or they don't have the spiritual, like they're not spiritually, emotionally kind of, and, and emotionally grown. 
like I said, they have a lower consciousness here. Uh, and maybe this is why they are like constantly going back and forth. Possibly this could be you about them. Uh, I think it is you about them, but let's see what else we have. The King of Pentacles. This is how you are affecting this other person and it could be. And so this is you like, uh, affecting them, right? In a big way. Uh, if you're showing up there, we have the Hierophant and then your outcome, 10 of cups. Mm hmm. So let's see what else we have. The, your Hierophant, the Hierophant is your hopes and fears. This could be saying you want a union with them sometimes, or you could be, I feel like what you are fearing in this reading Capricorn is somebody will like grow up when it's maybe too late or maybe change their belief system, like how they see, how they see the world, how they see love, how they see relationships, right? How they see maybe family life, possibly, but just how they see things, right? The way they operate. Yeah. Some people don't, can't operate, uh, you know, they, they just don't, they kind of, you know, function like a, they just don't function well, kind of when it comes to emotional or, you know, sometimes maybe this person trying to make decisions with their head, but this is a, a heart, uh, a decision of the heart about love. It could be. I feel like you could be like, you know, it's possible you're in the tower here kind of because you want somebody maybe to maybe because you walked away with them, but it's possible you might want, you might've wanted somebody to walk away here, uh, from somebody else because it looks like somebody's just weak. As I'm saying, like they, they don't have enough courage or, or consciousness. Their consciousness is low. It's next to the rejection card. This is kind of a, uh, you know, uh, uh, a negative card next to the consciousness card. Yeah. You could be feel feeling like you had to like, maybe a situation ended because of, because of that, because this person, uh, their consciousness is they you know, they're dealing with a low level, uh, of consciousness. Let's see what else we have for Capricorn in the heart of the matter. We have the seven of pentacles. Yeah. You're walking away from this person. We have two walking aways here. Because this seven of pentacles, the man walks away. Yeah, you took the power and the authority to walk away from somebody. I feel like you did. Now, this could be them. Uh, you you might have realized, Capricorn, it's possible here that you weren't going to get anywhere with somebody. This ten of swords. You might have realized here that you weren't going to get anywhere with this person. And maybe they were just kind of misleading you here with this magician. You could be dealing with somebody who kind of misleads themselves because this card talks about kind of somebody who grows up way too late, this alchemist. Yeah. And he's an older guy here. <laughs> he is. He's, uh, he's about 50. I feel like this reading is about how you're kind of feeling about somebody. Yeah. And maybe you have walked away from them right here. Uh, let's get another card on the heart of the matter here. We have the Knight of Swords. You look like you took it upon yourself to just kind of walk away. Let's see what else we have. Or you could have felt cut out here because this could be switched. These readings, these energies could be switched. You could have felt like they cut you out. Here's the, 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 the Knight is cutting this other man. Six of Pentacles in the chariot. This is could be this could be what you want. You might probably wanted to overcome obstacles with this person. You wanted to share, right? You wanted a give and take union. I feel like in this reading, if somebody here would kind of grow up, you could be expecting that everything would be great. You could just be with them. You guys could probably, you know, have a really kind of uh, equal, like a really give and take union. You could be in that energy here. Like if they would have, if they would have kind of, kind of grew up spiritually here, possibly. 
Let's see what else we have here. We have the Tower and the Four of Swords. I feel like you are wondering here if this person is uh, possibly going through their own tower over here, maybe. Because as I said, this reading's clear. This is you kind of in your thoughts and in your soul thinking about this, just kind of meditating and really, you know, deep down about this person. I feel like you are. You can feel this person, uh, like I said, maybe they are, maybe I said it, but misleading themselves because they are not grown. Yeah, I feel like that's what's going on in this reading. Let's see what else we have here. And we have nine of wands. I feel like you are just wondering over here again because we have the two of pentacles over here about this person. You could be, you know, you could be wondering here. I feel like you are in reflection about this person. Yeah, we have the Four of Swords twice. Over here, there's a taking a break, right? Kind of maybe somebody uh, is kind of stressed out by this whole thing. I feel like you might be wondering here if there's maybe if your person, this person could be going through a tower here. I feel like you have been hurt by this person, nine of wands, and you are like feeling kind of hurt right now and looking at the, looking at the future going, well, uh, it's been difficult now and it might not, it might not get better or something like that. Yeah. We have the sun card, the eight of wands. Maybe your person's Leo. They could be Aries over here. Cancer's here. Scorpio, Taurus. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you could also be wondering if this person will ever maybe leave step away from another situation you could be you could be wondering that you could be saying to yourself they probably never will because uh they're not that strong spiritually or they haven't they don't really understand like i mean you could be dealing with somebody who has some great job but if they are not emotionally like uh, spiritually strong or like they're, they're, you're dealing with a lower level of consciousness, like a lower consciousness. Uh, they, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I knew this man one time he made like $300,000 a year. I thought that was pretty decent. <laughs> and he was just so screwed up in his, in his private life. You're like, Oh my God. <clears throat> I feel like you walked away because you wanted change with this person. Yeah, you wanted to make some progress with them. Seven of Cups. You could have been, maybe you were confused about this. Yeah, I feel like you needed your clarity here. And, you know, uh, it's also possible here you were maybe expecting them to make some hard choice here. But I feel like here you were like kind of confused here if there was ever going to be change between you two. We have the two of pentacles and this is uh, the dynamic with them. This could be how they affect you. You could be w wondering right now if they are ending another situation, two of pentacles, death, or if you can transform this because we already have an ending over here, death or ending of a situation or a relationship. And here's the eight of cups in the heart of the matter, like walking away. Maybe they're in another union. And this is how they have you right now, wondering if they're ever going to end another situation. You could be wondering if this is over forever. That could be the other situation here. <coughs> yeah, you could be wondering here. If is this over forever? Mm hmm. Maybe you're wondering if they're having a new beginning with somebody else possible here. If they have maybe forgiven somebody or somebody has forgiven them because this is kind of deep down here. I feel like it is. This is like detailed. This is not like, wow, I'm thinking about so-and-so and I don't know, or, you know, 
So let's see what else we have. Let's look at the Knight of Cups. And we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. This is coming soon. It could be. I feel like, once again, though, we have the Two of Pentacles here. I feel like you're just kind of thinking about all this stuff here. Let's get another card here for Capricorn. See, we have, and these energies could be your persons. That's you, though, the Knight of Pentacles, most likely here. I feel like what you're doing in, in this reading, Capricorns, you had a breakup with this person and you're wondering if you're gonna if you're gonna get back together with them. Maybe if they'll give you forgiveness or if you'll forgive them, but uh it could definitely be because I just feel like here you are, you have the ace of pentacles reversed and the knight of cups. This can talk about possibly a breakup and, and a and a love offer, but I feel like that's what you're you're concerned about here. Like, am I gonna ever gonna have a new beginning with this person? right yeah you could be thinking in this reading that somebody kind of has rejected you here uh because <clears throat> maybe they have a new beginning with somebody else maybe they're starting over with somebody something like that i feel like you are wondering all about this person yeah and let's see what else we have the nine of cups this could be how they affect you. This could be them too, but you know. I feel like you could be wondering, if is this over forever or am I going to get my wish here? Yeah, I feel like you're kind of like, you might be thinking here that it's possible here that somebody here will, this person will kind of, I just feel like you're in between. Like they could come around and this could be over for, this could be completely over. Yeah. And let's see how you might affect this person, right? We have the justice card. And they probably had to make a decision here. Or they probably had to accept a truth. There's some type of energy in this reading where somebody, uh, like, it finds it hard to accept the truth because of their level of consciousness right here. Because maybe they are misleading themselves with this illusion card. Possibly the magician. Let's get another card for Capricorn. And we have the Page of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. I just feel like maybe this person's married. The Hierophant's here. The Justice card is right here. They could be, definitely. You know, it's possible here that this person maybe is trying to make a decision about you right now because you're, because there's something in you, Capricorn, that thinks it might not be over forever. Yeah, for sure. Let's see what else we have. And the King of Wands, it could probably, maybe they're Aries, Leo, or Sag, possibly. Because this could be about you and them, King of Pentacles, Justice, right? Could be Page of Pentacles. This person probably values you a lot. Yeah, that's how you're kind of making them. Uh, this is how you're affecting them. This person does value you a lot. Yeah, I feel like they do. Yeah. I feel like you are important to this person, but there's problems here. This person has some type of problems. Yeah, they do. Like, like they're not grown or... Just something. Let's see what else we have. Five of Cups. Could be it could be their relief, uh, their relief. It could be their belief systems. Or how they, you know, as I said at the beginning of the reading, their how they see things, right? Yeah. You know, maybe they think they're supposed to maybe they got married to somebody and they think they could never leave. So your hopes and fears. You're hoping for this union with somebody, but you're fearing that this is like, probably this is just completely over. You could be hoping they have an ending on their, on their side. You could. Because I think in this reading, you're, you're like, 
you are acknowledging that this person loves you. I feel like you are. And you're kind of like, well, where are you? Kind of that kind of energy. Though, why are you with me then? Isn't it right? Five of Pentacles is in your hopes of years. Wow, this is major change, turning points. You might want them to leave somebody out here. Could be that clear. Could be that simple. Maybe you're fearing they're leaving you out here. You could be afraid that this person maybe is leaving you out for a marriage, the Hierophant, or they are leaving you out for their belief systems. And as I said, the consciousness card is here, right? If you're stuck with your outdated beliefs or, you know, your mother told you, you can never ever like leave, you know, leave your wife or your husband, although they have tried to kill you five times. I mean, you know, you could be dealing with somebody like that. They don't want you. These, this, this society doesn't want you to be awakened. They don't want you to be prosperous. They don't want you to be healthy. They don't want you to be emotionally strong. None, none of it. Ninguna. So maybe this person is kind of a, <clears throat> a victim of that, right? Maybe they grew up in some type of a situation here because I feel like that's what you are kind of acknowledging here. We have the 10 of cups and the ace of cups. This is in your outcome. You could have a new beginning with this person. You could. Yeah, we're going to go to the extended Capricorn because although this is showing up in the outcome, very beautiful, right? Uh, I feel like this is what you're hoping for because it's right next to the hopes and fears. So we have to go to the extended. Just sorry, you guys, but it's how it is here, right? Yeah. <laughs> and we're straight up here how we see the cards though. Yeah. I mean, you know what I mean? We are. I feel like you guys probably know that about me. Uh, it's hard for me to be a BSer. It is. Uh, but I can call people out on their BS real, real easy, right? <laughs> We're going to end this reading and all the extensions are super affordable. Uh, the link is below. We're going to see how they feel about you. Yeah. And we're going to do their whole spread here and see, uh, and see where they're at Capricorn. Yeah. Where they're, uh, where they're at, where they need to be. Maybe I feel like this in this person's kind of in their energy, it's probably where they need to be or should be, but where they are now. Kind of, yeah. And I mean emotionally or spiritually. We're going to end this reading. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.